welcome back to my channel and today I wanted to share with you guys a few of my tips and tricks to stay healthy while you are sick. Right now it is like this weird flu season and I ended up catching it just like everyone else right now and so yes I still sound really bad. <laughs> Definitely almost like the worst flu symptoms virus thing I've ever had and everyone is starting to get it right now so I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity to share with you guys these tips and tricks to stay healthy while you are sick. So the number one thing I have on my list is listen to your body. If you're wanting to stay healthy and fit while you're sick that's probably gonna be the best thing you can do is just listening to your body. Whenever you need to sleep, sleep. Whenever you feel like you need to eat, definitely eat. If your body is craving fruits, eat fruits. If your body is craving vegetables or warm stuff, eat that kind of stuff. If your body is craving bad junky food, um, that's a little bit different. That's coming almost from a different place. So breaking down, you know, okay, if you're craving chips, okay, you want something salty, maybe trying a healthy warm soup. Depending on what you're craving, you can kind of ask yourself questions and seeing what kind of healthy alternative you can turn that into. So taking listening to your body into consideration while being mindful of what you're doing. So I cannot stress this enough. Sleeping, sleeping, sleeping is so good for your body while you're sick. Um, definitely while listening to your body, if your body wants to sleep, let it sleep. But that doesn't mean if you're sleeping all day that you're not gonna be fit or healthy. So one thing that I learned that I think is really important, and um, I actually learned this when I was little, my grandparents used to take me to a Chinese restaurant, and uh, the same person that owned the Chinese restaurant would always come to me and tell me, if you're ever sick, keep your feet warm. That is like one of the biggest things I guess with Chinese medicine is to keep your feet warm. Um, I'm not too sure why, but it can't hurt. So keep your feet warm. So something else with food while you're intuitively eating, I would highly suggest to stay away from anything dairy. Dairy actually will increase the amount of mucus in your body and actually maybe even worsen some of the symptoms that you may be feeling. Also, while you're intuitively eating, is to get really good nutrients to help your body. I would honestly suggest try to incorporate turmeric in your body if you're feeling aches and pains like I did. I heated up some soy milk, and I actually did that with my coffee machine that I have, so I used the frother to heat it up, and then added in two tablespoons of turmeric, and I found that this really, really helped, and it was almost instant. So some other ingredients I would totally suggest to add in while you're sick, garlic, lemon, cinnamon, honey, and ginger. All will help you while you're sick, so incorporate those how you would like. And the last big ingredient I would totally add in, if you're feeling like you have a cough like I did, pineapple juice. I totally suggest to drink pineapple juice and try to make sure it's the purest you can find. Drinking lots and lots and lots and lots of water. So drinking as much water, helping your body flush it out so that you can get over it a little bit quicker. Adding chia seeds to your diet will really, really help. When you are drinking chia seeds, it tends to bind with things that are in your gut and hold on to them because they have that gelatin feeling around it. So it will actually pick up toxins on the way out of your body. So I would totally suggest to incorporate chia seeds. And so now I'm going to go over all the external things like your skin and your nose and a couple other things to stay healthy while you're sick. So one big thing I would suggest externally to help your body get over the sickness and to keep you healthy, if you're taking a shower or a bath, I would totally recommend to use Epsom salt. Epsom salt is really, really good about pooling out the toxins out of your body and that can actually really, really help. Even adding a few drops of certain oils in your bath, but not too many because it can burn your skin, but one or two drops of like peppermint or lemon or a few other different ones or eucalyptus is really good to help break down the stuff in your nose and help drain it a little bit more. So one big thing I would totally suggest to help with your nose because if you're blowing your nose a lot, it will get really rashed up and dry and flaky and then when you're over your sickness then you have to wait a whole week for your nose to even go back to normal. I totally recommend every day to put oil on your nose. I'm using this one, Cora Organics. It's the Noni Glow. I really, really, really like this product because it has Noni in it and Noni is a plant that comes from Hawaii that is really good um, for skin. And it's known for building back up the properties that are in your skin that make it healthy. Um, also, if you don't have a face oil at home, you can actually use a really good lip balm around your nose and above your lip. I have been using this one. I actually got 
in a package. Um, this is from Tatcha, and yes, it is super, super, super expensive, but I really like this product, and I felt that it really sunk into my skin and um, actually even put a layer over it. One thing I used in the shower, which I found really helpful for my nose, I was in there for like an hour while I was taking a bath with my Epsom salt. Um, I have this face wash from Josie Moran, Arrogant Cleansing Oil, and this stuff is so thick and um, like hydrating, and it felt so good. So when I would sit in the shower, I would put this on for about an hour and just put it all over and just let it soak into my skin, and I found that this also really, really, really helped and made it feel really good when I got out of the shower too. So one thing I notice when I get sick or when other people get sick, as soon as I feel better, like the minute I feel better, I wanna run and I wanna work out and I wanna go do everything really fast and then I do it and then I feel even worse after and I'll be sick for even a few more days after that. So again, listening to your body, I did feel <clears throat> like I wanted to work out and do these things. So I would really, really suggest to just stretch. Totally recommend to give your body a good stretch. About 30 minutes a day will help your body not feel so tight and cramped, and especially if you're having that weird uh, achy body feeling like I did for a few days. All right guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoy it, and I hope some of these tips and tricks will help you while you are sick for this crazy flu season. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.